Ethereum is a decentralized, open-source blockchain platform that enables the creation of smart contracts and decentralized applications dApps. It was the first platform to introduce smart contracts, which are self-executing contracts with the terms of the agreement between buyer and seller being directly written into lines of code. I'm Mia from KK Technologies. Let's discover the future of Ethereum together. One of the key innovations of Ethereum is its use of a virtual machine, called the Ethereum Virtual Machine EVM, which enables the execution of smart contracts on the Ethereum network. The EVM allows developers to build and deploy decentralized applications dApps, that can operate on a global, peer-to-peer -peer network without any downtime, censorship, or interference. In addition to smart contracts and dApps, Ethereum also supports decentralized finance DeFi, applications, which allow users to access a range of financial services on the blockchain, such as borrowing, lending, and trading. As for the future plans of Ethereum, the Ethereum development team is working on a number of projects and initiatives to improve the platform's scalability, security, and overall user experience. One of the main projects that the team is currently focusing on is Ethereum 2.0, which aims to upgrade the Ethereum network to a proof-of-stake (POS) consensus algorithm and introduce a number of other improvements, such as sharding and cross-shard communication. These upgrades are expected to significantly improve the scalability and efficiency of the Ethereum network, making it more suitable for a wider range of applications. The Ethereum 2.0 upgrade, which involves the merger of the original Ethereum mainnet with the Beacon Chain, a separate proof-of-stake blockchain, is still in progress. The Beacon Chain was launched in December 2020, and the process of transferring the Ethereum mainnet to a proof-of-stake consensus algorithm is expected to be completed in several phases over the next few years. The first phase, called Phase 0, involved the launch of the Beacon Chain and the ability for users to deposit and stake their Ether ETH, on the Beacon Chain to become validators. Phase 1, called the Data Availability and Streamlining Phase, is expected to be completed in 2021 and will introduce the ability to execute smart contracts on the beacon chain. Phase 2, called the execution environment phase, is expected to be completed in 2022 and will introduce sharding, which will allow the Ethereum network to process transactions in parallel rather than sequentially, improving its scalability. Overall, the Ethereum 2.0 upgrade is a significant project that will bring significant changes to the Ethereum network and is expected to improve its scalability, security, and overall performance. It's important to note that the timeline for the completion of the Ethereum 2.0 upgrade is subject to change and may be affected by a variety of factors. Ethereum has a strong developer community and has established itself as a leading platform for decentralized applications dApps. It's also been successful in attracting a large number of users and has a significant market capitalization, which suggests that it could continue to be a major player in the cryptocurrency and blockchain space. There are a number of factors that could influence the future of Ethereum, including technological advancements, regulatory developments, and competition from other blockchain platforms. It's important to keep in mind that the cryptocurrency and blockchain industries are rapidly evolving, and it's possible that Ethereum could face challenges or changes in its trajectory in the future. Overall, it's hard to say for certain what the future holds for Ethereum, but it has a strong foundation and has shown resilience in the face of challenges in the past. Cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button.